It's been a long time coming. But Beverly Football Club finally got the chance to unveil its premiership flag at its home ground. A sanctuary which was demolished by a freak storm in January, tearing off the roof of its club rooms and leaving a trail of destruction. Ebony, I'm here at the Beverly Redbacks Football Club, which was right in the path of these wild storms over the weekend. The entire town suffered as homes were lost and businesses destroyed. A lot of damage around the farms with trees and roofs and that gone, but um, I think we missed out on a bit more than, uh, say, Northern and York. But um, a fair bit of damage around town, yeah. One of our players lost his house. As President Steve Minchin explains, the storm was just another adversity the Redbacks have been forced to overcome. Uh, I was still coping, actually. We're having problems over there with the amenities building. Uh, no roof at the moment, so um, we're struggling. As you see, we've got the ladies in an um, antiquated sort of system sitting out here in the open. Today, the community of Beverly got the chance to celebrate. The club's really fantastic with things like this. Um, when we have tragedies at this club, everyone pulls together and uh, really works it out and, and, and sorts it out. I mean, we, we have plenty of fundraisers throughout the season and we've, we've worked pretty hard with um, different, um, different stuff we do to, to make some money for the club, so I'm sure that'll be fixed up in no time. But, but in terms of morale around the, around the town, it, it doesn't affect them. They all, they're all just, they're just, all just happy to be here, mate. The culture seems absolutely ripping. The people have been really welcoming. And uh, all the boys are just great blokes. A 10-goal win over Railways kept the Redbacks undefeated in the Avon Football Association. They still couldn't celebrate in their condemned club rooms, but the team has bigger plans in its future. Yes, the story of the Beverly Redbacks Football Club and their revival on and off the field. Now, boys, isn't it amazing some of the stories you hear in country footy about teams rebuilding after you know, destruction, weather destruction, those kinds of things? Well, natural disasters, not just in Australia, but around the world, Carl, this year. But as TB said, when you get a country town with a sporting organisation, be it footy, cricket, you name it, they have this innate ability to come together and do good. Well, that's what brings the country towns together. You know, your socialising happens at your sporting events. You know, in summer it's generally the cricket and in, foot, in winter it's the footy. So, you know, you see situations up in Exmouth, Broome, 2J, Carnarvon with the floods. So, so many times where those communities have been brought together through sport. And it was great seeing some of the locals out. You know, I spoke to a few of the people who, you know, suffered, their businesses had suffered, they'd lost a lot of money through the storms and that kind of thing. And to see them come out and just get a bit of joy at the footy game, they absolutely loved it. A lot of love in this room at the moment between Carl and Tyson. But that's about to change, folks, because after the break... Who won? Well, it's uh, even Stevens at the moment. But coming up, we've got the pick of the crop. That'll be massive because there's an ongoing feud between our two co-hosts on Off the Boot right here on Win.